Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 23rd, 2018. So, it looks like, according to the news, shoppers are really showing their confidence in the overall economy. Getting out, it looks like, in record numbers, both in store and online so uh, best buy reported um, the largest number of transactions ever through their store just on yesterday in the and black friday is is now underway uh, shoppers have been in those stores now for a while so i assume it's pretty crazy um, if you're out out there uh fighting the masses to find a bargain if um you're looking at the overall market, however, it's a little bit disappointing to see that new concerns um, about uh, trade wars between the U.S. and China continuing to plague the, the mind of the market um, reports that the trade war could extend far beyond the end of the year. And that has the futures uh, kind of giving us a dour picture this morning. Currently, U.S. futures, um, Dow futures are pointing to about 100 points lower this morning. They've been down as far as 150 points lower this morning. So giving back a good portion of Tuesday's, um, uh, well, slight rally off of the low. Uh, Tuesday really ended up, uh, excuse me, Wednesday really ended up being a uh, pop and drop pattern, just a slow grind, popped up in the morning and, and, and slowly ground its way back down, just unable to find the energy to move. And today I would expect largely the same. We're going to get a gap down this morning and that certainly could trigger some stop losses and create an initial push lower. It could also um, inspire some of those um, you know, perma bulls to think this has to be the low uh, to jump in. But after the morning rush, I would expect um, markets to get really, really choppy. Volumes be very light as the majority of the world seems to be kind of focused on, or the majority of you, I should, should say, seems mostly focused on holiday and Black Friday shopping. So if we take a look at the Dow here, you can see we do have certainly uh, concerns uh, in this market. If we gap below this little support area, or start breaching that level, then a test down in here certainly looks likely, and that's a fairly substantial area in the market. Now, in the Dow, it doesn't show really well, but you can see lots of touches to this level. So um, we could find some support in there if that drops into this area, but uh, it's gonna be, it would be ugly uh, for sure. And I, I you know, I'm not sure there's going to be a, so enough folks um, really focused on the market today to create any kind of major panic sell-off, but that's certainly possible if some big stop-loss areas start tripping. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also moving lower here, looking like it may come down here and retest the low of last Tuesday. Um, not looking too stellar at the moment, but um, well, there's a lot of work to be done. I've got so many lines drawn in here. I need to clean some of this up. Um, uh, looking at some of the intraday charts, if we take a look at an hourly here, and that's why I had some of those drawn. This is showing the pre-market activity pushing down in that grayed out bar, but you can see we're pushing right back down here toward that low of uh, Tuesday and um, hopefully hopefully um, that will hold as support we don't want to see that drop down because if it, if it can if it continues to push lower you can see there really is a fairly significant level of support in the market down here but that's going to require a significant pullback to reach it so uh, no one wants to see that um, I'm sure so let's hope that um, some cooler heads prevail and support holds. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues ha has really led us lower and continues to just show all kinds of ugliness here even though we gapped up on um, Wednesday and, and tried to follow through and, and unable to do that found sellers by the end of the day. 
holding down here in this area would be a nice win for the bulls if they can just hold right in here if that is unable the bigger support level of course is right down here uh, which is you know significantly more selling if that were to occur so watch that close keep in mind that we have a new downtrend in play here or this current downtrend and before we can really start seeing much for bullishness we need to get these markets to break that downtrend improve they can start holding some levels of support before we should get too wound up about buying anything buying anything you know uh, at these lows is just pure speculation and um, that's not my kind of trading i don't um, i want to wait and see some proof that buyers are actually going to start picking up uh, the market let's take a look at iwm IWM did hold on to its rally on uh, Wednesday and looks better than some of the other markets. But keep in mind, this is extremely oversold and um, we have that um, death cross, uh, 50 crossing over the 200. So lots of technical damage here. If this holds this load right down in here, we'll be in pretty good shape. Um, here in IWM for that potential rally nice double bottom type pattern here or W bottom type pattern could form so let's kind of keep an eye on that but it has to hold on to here and if it does not you can see um, we could drop down into here fairly easily so keep that in mind let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX trying to relax just a little bit here on uh, Wednesday before the holiday trying to relax just a little bit but um, we're still building this pattern which is really this is a price support here right now we're building this wedge type pattern we push up here and hit that as as resistance let's hope that holds as resistance but with the gap down this morning going on we could pop up through here and maybe reach up here and test these um, wicks up here for that high level but we don't want to see this creep up and get much higher than that um, other, if that occurs that fear may take over and we could really see the market um, run into some trouble t2122 the four week new high new low ratio you can see um, on tuesday we did reach this oversold area or that bullish reversal zone i should say in t2122 and had a nice bounce here on wednesday now this morning we're um with this gap down we're actually going to see that probably pull back a little bit the question of course is will the buyers step in here again pushing it back up or will the sellers take over and bring us right back down into this reversal zone what this is telling us is just that there's plenty of upside room to move higher but we all obviously have room to move down as well so kind of keep that in mind as you plan now for me i don't plan to do any trading today i'm going to monitor current positions and i i i'm about as close to cash as i've been in quite a while um i don't want to be holding much over the holiday um, weekend and uh, please keep in mind that cyber monday um, typically uh, is a light volume action day as well as a lot of folks will be extending their vacations through Monday and um, folks really focused on that shopping on Monday so kind of keep that in mind um, I'll have to wait and see what the price action is before I decide if Monday's the day I'm going to be getting back um, into much trading activity so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great Friday and a great day also an awesome awesome holiday weekend hopefully um, everyone is just enjoying time with friends and family and not overly focused here on the market which is probably not going to do a whole lot today um, just a couple ideas for you there are some good charts even though things are um, kind of crazy um, overall here in the market um, one chart for you NEM NEM looking really really good here nice little rising trend 
this makes a little bit of sense with the market um, being uh, just kind of well a little sketchy here um, to see some of these gold or gold mining stocks picking up this is a really nice bottom breaking through this resistance holding it as support very close to its little uptrend here and was nicely bullish on um, Wednesday so kind of keep that in mind that's a, a nice looking chart maybe for your list I wouldn't necessarily say it's something you should just jump in today but certainly something to watch another um, one that's actually kind of surprising to me is um, UAL um, whoops, UAL, United Airlines, um, really kind of surprising to me to see such a nice strong pattern here on an airline, but who knows that um, holiday holiday spending could really have pushed um, some good numbers in flights, and so you can see we have a really nice consolidation level here after breaking out holding well moving back over here to trend and looking like it's trying to push through that top so you might want to keep an eye on UAL um, um oops there was another that I think it was HRB was it HRB yeah H&R Block is another one that I um, wanted to bring up as a possibility you can see it has pulled back but um, we're moving in you know closer and closer to that tax season again and H&R Block um, running this nice little trend going on here and this pullback to test the support area may have more consolidation in it but certainly one to keep an eye on um, resistance above of course but we'll have to watch this little pattern right here to see if it can develop so with that everyone have an awesome awesome day um, eat some more turkey enjoy enjoy your holiday and we'll see you all right back here uh, bright and early Monday morning um, take care everyone be safe and have a great, great holiday weekend. Take care now.